International Rugby League is back with three test matches happening on Saturday. Without further ado, let's just get into it. First up on the cards, and it's a big match. Not only is this obviously the first Rugby League match really to be taking place in this grand scale back over in New Zealand, but it is also, in my humble opinion, this match right here will be the 2021, technically, Rugby League World Cup Final. It is, of course, New Zealand against Tonga. Now, both teams are bolstering absolutely brilliant squads. Like, for example, we could just go through the uh, New Zealand squad here. Joseph Manu, Ronaldo Molotalo, Arada Niakore, Peter Hiku, Jordan Rapana, Dylan Brown, Jerome Hughes, Jesse Bromwich, Brandon Smith, James Fisher-Harris, Isaiah Papali'i, Kenny Bromwich, Joseph Tarpin, Kieran Foran, Moses Leoda, Nelson Osoma Solomona, Britton Nakora, Jordan Rickey, Dallin Watin Zalesniak, Timai Martin, Scott Sorensen, Aaron Clark, Ken Marmolo, and Griffith Niam. Look, that is just like a who's who of, uh, of New Zealand players in rugby league, but in the NRL, really. It's, uh, it's an absolute brilliant lineup, to say the least, of a squad. But obviously, we can't underestimate Tonga as well. Tom, Tonga have got a really good squad as well. They've got Kula, Siena Katawa, Tuopolotu, Panasini, Moses Suli, Katoni Staggs, Amone, Fanua Blake, Havili, Takiaho, Tupanua, uh, Kual Matangi, Tamalalo, Olika Artu, Totola, Fodawaka, Afengai. There's just an absorbent amount of talent in this match, to say the very least. Um, I have seen the betting being very much more in favour of New Zealand, and I do think New Zealand uh, will be winning this match, but I feel like it is going to be a really close match, and in all honesty, would not be surprised to see if Tonga take it out. But the question is, though, will it be a sea of black or red at uh, Mount Smart Stadium? My honest bet, probably mixed. <laughs> Now we move on to the, uh, back over to the ditch actually, to Campbelltown Stadium, where game one of two of the double headers, it's of course Samoa against the Cook Islands. Samoa's team, man, let's just go through it quickly. Anthony Milford, Bunty Afoa, Chanel Harris-Tavita, Charlie Stance, David Nofaluma, Francis Mollo, Isaac Targo, Jackson Paulo, Jaden Sewer, Jazz Tavaga, Josh Alawai, Josh Schuster, Keenan Palacio, Luciano Lelio, Martin Tapao, Matthew Fagai, Ronald Volkman, Spencer Leniu, Taylor May and Tofoa Sipley. Now that is just, again, like New Zealand, that's just a broad of talent. Volkman, I think, is a very uh, interesting prospect to see how he goes. And obviously, Josh Schuster. I did see he put up a message about um, he's doing this game, obviously, in honor of uh, of Titmus, who obviously was a uh, uh, it was just a very sad, um, fortunate thing for him, a brilliant prospect of a player he was set to be, and of course, unfortunately, passing away. So. I hope, for his sake, Josh Schuster has an absolute blinder. Now, to, not to disregard the Cook Islands, however, um, in terms of their lineup, so we can go through We've got Tinera Arona, Jeff Daniela, Anthony Jelling, Kyle Iro, Andre Iro, Reese Joyce, Makahesi Makatoa, Stephen Masters, Isan Masters, Davy Moal, Malachi Morgan, Moses Naval, McGreal, Pride Peterson, Rabadi. Brendan Piacora, Ruben Porter, Ruben Rennie, Vincent Rennie, Brody Tamora, and Aaron Taroy, and Xavier Wilson. Obviously, East End Masters, of course, playing in the NRL for the Titans. Um, in terms of this match, I do feel like Samoa probably, just because of the amount of talent that all of them are in the NRL, they should very win handily, but obviously, the players don't have to be in the NRL to show that they are good, obviously. Like, I mean, all of the England squad, England made the Rugby League World Cup last time and nearly all of their players were playing in the Super League, so you can't disregard them as well, but I do think Samoa should very handily win this match. Now, going into the final matchup of, this, uh, of these three matches, it is, of course, Papua New Guinea up against Fiji. Let's go through the Papua New Guinea squad. you got Alex Johnston, Robert Derby, David Mead, Justin Olam, Terry Wappi, Lachlan Lamb, Appel Kapinius, Watavo Puara, Sylvester Namo, Nixon Putt, Daniel Russell, Liam Horn, Kyle Labert, Emmanuel Wayne, Mackenzie Yai, Jacob Alik, Dilbert Isaac, Sherwin Tanabe, and Cruz Ten. 
Obviously, very big players in terms of the NRL. Obviously, Johnston, Mead, and Olam immediately bring uh, bring out, obviously, Alex Johnston on Korea best form at the moment. Justin Olam is an absolute... Uh, it's just an absolute beast. It's uh, it's a very solid lineup, and obviously we go over to Fiji, and again there's a there is also a fair amount of NRL players in the uh, the Fiji team, so we could go through first off. So, warning: you are about to see an incompetent Caucasian try to pronounce a Fijian name. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, okay, here we go. So let's go through the name list. Let's see if I can not fuck this up. Tui Kamikamika Vawati. I've, I've fucked up already. Vawate Karawalevu, Viliami Kikiao, Isaac Lumi Lumi, Ayasofa Massey, Tani Milne, Laetia Mosidric, Kevin Noguama, Michael Ravalara, Taniello Sadrugu, Marcus Sivo, Penioni Tagatuamua, Sunia Taruva, Semi Valamai, Brandon Wakem, Masaki Kuritatoga, Lamar Leolavale, Natani, Natani Masima, Kalen Miller, Takiko Noke, Ke, what the, okay. This is the name of, uh, Nakasaka Kiovetlevu, I think a Q is like, it's a bit of like a K, I mean, I'm fucking obviously. Uh, Joseph Ratu, Ethan Robinson, Pio Seki, Pio so Soko Balavu, Pio Sosoka Balavu, Marka Tudravu, Marika Turagavivu, Turagaiviu, and Ratu Inoke Vas <laughs> Turagawa. So obviously a few players that obviously come out, Kamika Mika, Kikiao, Milne, Marka Sivo, Ravalara, Kevin Nagama. All players that have let's just show you see Brandon Wakem's also another one. A whole bunch of players who have pl do play in the NRL. So I feel like, for some reason, the, in terms of the betting odds, Fiji have like a massive um, advantage over New Guinea, but it's like, I wouldn't I wouldn't sleep on New Guinea. I do think it's going to be a close match, and I do think Fiji will win this game, but I wouldn't sleep on New Guinea. I think it might be actually a really close match. So after all that, me definitely butchering names and uh, pissing off some people's families, I do apologise for that. I'm whitey. So, anyways, thank you all for watching this International Rugby League Test Preview. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm wrong? Are, are Tonga going to win? Are the Cook Islands going to win? Like, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.